Our second candidate is a vintage Lomo square front 50mm that opens up to T2.2. Lomo are Russian lenses reaching back to the Soviet era. Our square front seems to be from 1965 and has been modded to PL of course. Being a relatively old lens that is still in original housing it requires more torque to focus than the other lenses in the test, but it's workable. Like the Evolution it's a mechanical synchro and while it's not as compact it is still light and small compared to very up the designs. The lens has very warm colors and expressive pale flares that fall into the colors of the light striking the lens. Like it's to be expected, the overall sharpness is not quite as high as modern lenses but it's almost there at a reasonable t-stop. The sharpness fall off is actually much better than with the Cobra Evolution. While it wouldn't crop in heavily, 16x9 aspect crops work just fine. Don't expect wonders from the Lomo, T2.2 is unusable as it was to be expected. T4 would be the minimum of what I would shoot at, but it can look absolutely stunning and surprisingly sharp for a vintage lens with quite a bit of distortions toward the corners. We can show you close focus as this is already the closest you can focus to with about 1.6 meters. Using a full frame 6 to 5 crop we get heavy vignetting and we get over compression, though not as strong as on the Cobra Evolution, but that is partly due to the fact that we can't focus as close. The image of the Lomo seems to be very slightly compressed vertically focusing close, which is probably the reason why close focus is so limited with this lens. It would give you a lot of mumps getting closer. We have computers today and this is an easy fix by stretching the image out vertically for close focus scenes. A Lomo square front like this is usually traded in sets and goes around $10,000 per lens at this time. So the one rents out a 3 lens set at $700 per day.